Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome to a brand new video and I just want to say thank you guys so much for 300 subs. Um, I'm not going to do the whole like thing where YouTubers are like, I can't believe we made it this far and everything because I am going to admit I think I make it this far because of like I'm very determined. Um, how far this my determination would take me, I don't know. However, I would not have expected to hit it this year. So a little bit of backstory, I guess, that I'll go over probably quite often that you've heard. I have had a goal of hitting 500 subs. To me, that's my first big milestone is 500 subscribers. I've had that milestone for about two years. I wasn't focusing on YouTube a whole lot at the beginning. I was really focusing on streaming on my Twitch channel. My link to that will be in the description as the link will be to my Twitter and the Discord server as well. And... I really just wanted to hit these really big milestones. I got really close to 500 followers on Twitch. However, I really just switched games so often and I felt so stagnated and I felt like there was almost no growth that I could have, any personal impact I could have on the channel. With that being said, I really am happy to hit this 300 milestone because for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will you can go into my, my milestones. And at the beginning of the year, I had 200. And for two years in a row, I was like, I want to hit 500. I want to now, and looking back on it and actually doing a full, like, actual year of, tr like, have working full-time. Well, not a full year for working full-time, but rather a full year of trying to do content. I very much understand that... How, how hard it can be to grow and because at first I was like 500 should be too difficult in the grand scheme of things but for two years in a row I was wrong I was so unbelievably wrong I think one of the years I gained a literally 18 subs I literally gained 18 in an entire year and then the second year I think I gained 127 ish uh, I think I'm on course right now to get slightly below that but I'm hoping in 2025 to actually shoot super super high but I really wanted to hit 500, and so this year I lowered my goal to 250. I wanted to do, I had 200 in August, or not August, sorry, in January. Um, I wanted to hit 250 by Christmas, and in around August is, I believe, when I hit my mark of 250. I could be a little wrong, and I was like, okay, I'm going to really push for 300. I'm, I'm going to try super fucking hard. And if I hit 300, fucking awesome. My, if not, that'll be my goal next year. Um, and I, we like as of today, I literally got home and I checked about an hour ago and it was 300 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. This wasn't meant to be a super long video or anything, but rather this is just meant to be me saying thank you and you guys understand how my goals have changed. Uh, I, I guess I'll talk about, well, more of what's to come in the short scheme of things because I am fully aware. Wukong has helped me out so fucking much. Playing Black Myth Wukong is actually created, I think, th I have 15-ish videos with it up oh, just upwards of a thousand views, and I think Wukong has made like three or four of them. And so Wukong has just done wonders for the channel, so thank you guys so, so much. I've also been playing a lot more Dead by Daylight. Uh, that is exclusive to my Twitch channel, solely because I don't know how to turn that into a video. I don't really want to do highlights on the, my YouTube channel. I'd rather just do live comms and talk to you guys. However, um... I really just enjoy Dead by Daylight. I think the gameplay is fun. I think playing with friends is fucking awesome. And overall, just having the ability to kind of make content on whatever game I want and it feel like it's somewhat benefiting me as long as other than I'm just having fun is amazing. So Wukong is almost finished. So when Wukong is done, we'll be jumping straight into our first scary game. I tried playing a little bit of it on my Twitch channel and it didn't really go super well solely because I... I chickened out. I got about halfway through. It's a game called Befriended Curse. I don't do well with horror at all. I have a big story for that. And if you guys want to hear the story, uh, I'll, then I can. And I'll leave that for another video. But basically, there's a big story as to why I don't do horror very well. And it stems back to all the way when I was a kid. And so I'm I want to learn to kind of grow out of it. Because for those of you who aren't aware, every around Halloween time, so around October to November-ish, I play w at least one scary game. I play one scary game. And that is like my little thing that I do around this time of the year. I tried to play Befriended Curse and I wasn't really into it. However, the, there are two games I really wanted to play. I want to play Until Dawn Remake and I want to try Silent Hill 2 because I started playing Pyramid Head on Dead by Daylight and I was like, oh, he's from Silent Hill. And I read his little bio thing they have in there and it sounds really, really cool. So I want to learn how to play Silent Hill and stuff like that. Uh, I have other scary games. Like I have a bunch of Resident Evil games on my library because prior to actually doing a lot of content, I was collecting video games. I was playing video games and I was collecting them and like 90% of my library is unplayed. So 
I want to play some of these Resident Evil games. We'll just see which ones I play. Yeah, I just, after Wukong, it's going to be a scary game probably. We also have Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which I did make a video on that yesterday, as well as I also have Call of Duty Black Ops 6 coming out because I'm a primarily Call of Duty channel. Call of Duty will always have a home on this channel, no matter what, despite what's coming out, because I just play Call of Duty an absolute shit ton every year, and it's very easy for me to make content on it, and I really enjoy it. On top of that, we have Sonic and Shadows Generations coming out. That is coming out on the same day as Black Ops 6 on October 25th. And then on Halloween, Dragon Age Veilguard comes out. And I'm probably going to make just a one-off video on that, but I will be playing that as well. So there's a bunch of other games. We've got Dead by Daylight, you know, with them releasing updates and such. We have the casting of Frank Stone as well, which is also set in the Dead by Daylight universe, which is something I really want to play. We have to finish Wukong. We have... Black Ops 6, Sonic and Shadows Generations, Dragon Age the Veil Guard, I mean, Until Dawn, Silent Hill 2, we have so many games, and maybe there's even going to be more further down the line, and I just, I've become so overwhelmed with, like, you know, life and everything that I fell really behind on Wukong, and here I am, like, I'm over a month down the line, it's still not done. You guys have been showing insane amounts of support on the Wukong game, on the Wukong gameplay, and you've showed a great amount of support on Call of Duty recently, and the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero videos, I'm hoping to do well as well, so just thank you guys so, so, so much for, like, making sure that my dreams feel as if they are achievable. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the Twitch streams on Sunday, thank you guys so much for watching YouTube videos and leaving feedback, positive or negative, I really do appreciate it. And I just hope you guys will stay with me. I'm hoping, I try to increase my goals a little bit every year. My goal is 325 by the end of the year. If I can hit 325, then 350. And I will probably end up shooting for 500 next year. So thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for everybody who comes to hang out in the streams. I'm hoping to stream more as this life goes on. Yeah, make sure you check out all the socials below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.